In this lesson, you will learn how you can change existing test artifacts such as test cases and test suites in ELM Octane through our Excel import. Let's take a look how an initial import looks like. Um, first of all, you need to download the template file for the import from the um, configuration test in the import section. And here you can then download the file template. Once you have downloaded it, you can prepare your test cases. You will find two sheets. Import manual tests are here and test suites are in the second uh, tab or sheet. And within the sheets, you will find the data. Yeah, so let's assume we have already imported um, test cases and test suites into ALM Octane. Um, and if I would like to change and add a step to this test um, and re import it, it will basically create a new test. Yeah. So there's a way to um, import data into ALM Octane by changing existing uh, test cases. Um, what you need to do is you need to use the unique ID column here and tag the test ID you are looking to change. So let's reduce the list and look into a more reduced uh, view. I will take this one. So this is a simple um, sheet where we have imported these two test cases in the ALM Octane. And what I need to do is I can see here that um, this test case uh, has a unique ID. And what I need to do is I need to add here the real ID of the test case, which I need to find out. So let's go first into Octane, go to the quality module. And now I'm looking for 99. This is the first test, yeah, which has four steps. And I can see here it has four steps, one, two, three, four, one validation step, which is exactly here, one validation step. And I would like to change it now through the Excel. So I need to copy the ID and place it exactly here. And same I need to do for the second one, which is here. Let's go back. So here I can see the second one. This is exactly the ID I will use. So let's go here and write down the ID. So here I'm tagging and uh, saying Octane to update the test which I have uh, tagged with the add. As well here in the call, you need to tag the correct test. Yeah? So here I was referring to the uh, call unique ID one, which was exactly this test. And now what I can do is I can copy exactly the tagging from the first test and enter it here. And in this way, I can really manipulate existing tests. Now let's, few, uh, let's add few steps in order to do some changes. Here I can add an additional step, which would be six. And I can say this is step. This is a validation. And I can say check payment is listed under orders, under uh, payments. And same I can do here. So here I can write 11 step. It's a normal, it's a normal step. So it's a simple step and log out from application, from application. So these are two steps I would like to add. Uh, on the existing test and you can see I have no test suites so far and so I will import only this sheet so let's save it go back to Octane and now we can see here these are the two tests they have four steps currently so after import they should have five steps so I will now go back to the import section and select the correct file which I have just modified so this is the correct file and say import so two test cases are uh, updated successfully. So you see it's an update. And I can now go here and uh, do a refresh. And scroll down, you can see both test cases have now five steps. And if I go in, I can see here check payment is listed under payments. And on the second one, I should see exactly the call to the one before.
Yeah, so this is exactly how you can change existing test cases um, in ALM Octane through the Excel import. So now let's take a look if you would like to do the same for test suites. If we look at the import section for the test suites, you can see here in the sheet test suites, I can see all the different test suites I'm creating through an import and they are referring to the test ID, which was basically with the initial import under the manual test sheet. That's so why I'm uh, importing really those test IDs with the unique ID 11, 12, 13. You will find those exactly here. And in order to update or even create new test suite with existing test, you can use the following format. Yeah, so you can, if you want to update an existing suite, you need to tag it here. Or if you want to update and uh, if you want to uh, create a new suite and add existing test, you go and tag the test on the ID side. And here I will just say, this is um, Octane Academy. Octane Academy, save it, close and close. And now I can import it here. So go back to the test import, select the correct sheet now, which was this one. And now click on import. It says one test created successfully means it has not updated a test suite, it has created a test suite. And now let's scroll down, uh, click on refresh and scroll down and you can see exactly here you will find the test suite with the containing existing test, which I have tagged in the Excel sheet. So this is a very simple way to change data in ALM Octane by importing um, it from Excel. It works for requirements and uh, backlog items in the same manner.